You like your ear scratch? Yeah. You like your ear scratch? You smell like maple syrup. Yeah, you smell like maple syrup. So you need just to need to stop. No. No, you need to stop. No, you go do something with yourself. See, when they start acting like asses, uh, bad piggies, I just throw something over there to distract them for a little while. See, and now he'll go play with that for a little while. Oh, it's crazy. I don't know if this storm Etta or whatever her name is or his name is, is going to make it to southeast Georgia, but I hope so because we're very hot out here today. It's about 80 degrees. And once again, I don't own the rights to the music. It's very, very tiring. I got so much crap to do out here, and I can't because I got to deal with these animals. And I got a big wasp nest up underneath my refrigerator vent on my RV that I got to take care of that at nighttime. Ugh. Why? I can't. Then I got this blue wire here running. It's supposed to bring um, internet down from the shed into the RV with a Wi-Fi booster. It doesn't work. It's too long. It's too far from the main connection. And it's supposed to work directly into your router, into the, the piece that they send you. And it's BS. It's crazy, crazy. But I am putting our seedlings into the ground today in between chasing the pigs, of course. And uh, still putting the pig manure out here, the composting stuff. Uh, I already got three rows of them in there. See, they're, they're little in there. Got one there, one here, one here. I got them all in here right now. And uh, so far, three rows of the broccoli. I still have to get all those into these rows here. But it's hard to do it when I got to deal with these pigs. And that side over there, I'm doing the cauliflower. And that's it. I, I, I just don't have time and patience this this winter to continue doing this. I'm just very frustrated right now. And uh, I need to take a break. I don't know what I'm going to do. Very, I'm getting very um, discouraged with this homesteading stuff. I told, like I told my husband, let's just continue paying off this property, wait a year, and then sell it. Because I, I, I just... I love it, don't get me wrong, I love it out here, but it's just the people in this community, they suck. Nobody wants to help nobody, everybody wants to know your business, but nobody wants to help you. I can't live in a community where people don't want to help each other, and it's wrong for people to continue doing stuff like this. It's not right. We're coming into terrible times right now, and... I'm being harassed by the land owner for the remaining portion of rent on that secondary property. And we're in COVID-19. Stop harassing me. When you get it, when I get it, you'll get it. It's just sad. It's just really sad. How are you going to harass somebody? I haven't paid six months on my shed. They're not calling harassing me. They said as soon as you were able to get the money, just post something. Great. This is a company I rent a shed from. They're not harassing me. Why is this landlady harassing me about some money? You got over a hundred lands out here. I'm the only one that lives on my land and you want to continue harassing me? I pray to God that you choke on a chicken bone. How about that? I hope everybody has a great day. Ciao.